In this one, we'll be taking a look at how to ignore tracked files. So when we explode git ignore, what it basically does is whatever file extension or expression you mention in it, it will apply that on those files which are not being tracked at all. But if git already has a file which is matching the regular expression or the extension which is mentioned in the git ignore file but that file has already been committed in the git repository in that case git is going to track it all the way it's not gonna ignore it even though it's mentioned in the dot git ignore file so in this one we'll be looking how we can remove it from being tracked so the ideal way is like you delete the file altogether and get rid with it so that way git will never track it because that file is not there at all but if you want to keep the file and you want it in a way that git should ignore it even though it was committed and it was earlier tracked to do that we have this command git rm that's for remove dash dash cached and then the name of the file so here let's explore the scenario now over here you can see i've created a file called webconfig.txt file now over here if i go and say git status i'll see that there's a file which is currently being untracked and i have not added this txt file extension to this git ignore that you see over here so what i'm going to do next is i will be adding this file now so i'll say git add and then the name of the file webconfig.txt press enter and this file has now been added now if i go ahead and say git status it says this one new file webconfig.txt now that you see i have added this and if I go inside this file now, git ignore and mention a file with its name altogether, webconfig.txt, save this. And you can see this has also been modified, git ignore. So what I'll do now is I'll commit this file, git commit minus m ignore text files so it has been committed now now if I go in and say password colon and save this file come over here and now if I go in and say get status sorry Now if I go over here and say git status, you'll notice that this file is still being tracked, webconfig.txt. So what needs to be done over here is, as I mentioned, we'll be making use of the remove command. So we'll say git remove dash dash cached and then the name of the file, webconfig.txt. Press enter. And there you see it says removed webconfig.txt file. So you can see the file name has now turned red and it says D. But the file exists in our project. And now if I just mention anything over here. So before doing that, let's go and say get status. So you can see now. Now it's only tracking the git ignore file. The and now if I go in and make this change over here, password. So you see that that change is not coming up. Now if, even if I go in and update this file, say git status, and you see it's not taking this file into account, webconfig.txt. If I go back and I remove this from the git ignore file list, save this, and now I go over here and say git status you now see that the git ignore is back to its original 
status and that's why it is shown as normal and here we have web.config.txt appearing all over again control z and you check it over here get status and this time you see git ignore let's go ahead and commit this file again so we'll say git add git ignore and then we'll say git commit minus m ignore web config now see get status and we are all good so if i go in and add something else over here like hash key colon and if I now go in and try looking into the status, it's ignoring this file altogether. So that was how to ignore tracked files.